Hey, I'm Nate with the Petzl Technical Institute, and in this video, we're gonna look at the proper assembly of the ASAP and ASAP lock for use on a lifeline. The ASAP and ASAP lock are compatible with the ASAP Zorber 20, the ASAP Zorber 40, and the ASAP Zorber Axis energy absorbers. For connecting the ASAP Zorber to the ASAP, use either the BMD Triac lock, the Oxen Triac lock, or the OK Triac lock connector. For frequent connections of the ASAP absorber to the harness, use either the BMD Triac lock, Oxen Triac lock, OK Triac lock, or AMD Triac locking connectors. Each of these can be used in addition to the micro swivel to prevent twisting. For semi-permanent attachments of the ASAP absorber to the harness, use either the swivel open, the delta screw link, or the ring open. Each of these assemblies is compliant with European standards. For an ANSI certified assembly, you must use either the Oxen Triac lock or BMD Triac lock connector paired with a captive positioning bar. To demonstrate proper assembly of the ASAP absorber for use with the ASAP and ASAP lock, I'm gonna be using the ASAP absorber axis energy absorber and the BMD connectors. I'll also be installing the string and captive positioning bar. To use the ASAP absorber with the ASAP, start by sliding the string over the attachment loop on the ASAP absorber. Install the connector and rotate it a full 180 degrees. Now we can install the captive positioning bar. Slide the large end of the captive over the nose with the small side pointing at the spine of the carabiner. Now you can rotate the captive 180 degrees until it is positioned at the bottom of the connector. Now you can pry the small side of the captive open until it wraps around the connector. Now install the screws into the captive using a number one PosiDrive screwdriver. Repeat the same process on the opposite side of the ASAP absorber. The ASAP absorber is now ready to be paired with your ASAP for use on a lifeline. Now let's take a look at how to assemble the ASAP absorber on the ASAP lock. Start by assembling the connector onto one end of the ASAP absorber as previously shown. Next, remove the screw from the connection pin of the ASAP lock and remove the spacer. Now install the string onto the ASAP absorber attachment loop and insert a Phillips head screwdriver into the attachment loop and string. Line the Phillips head screwdriver up with the connection pin on the ASAP lock and slide the ASAP absorber onto the connection pin while slowly pulling the Phillips head screwdriver out. Now place the spacer back onto the connection pin and move the connection arm back into place and tighten the screw using the provided four millimeter Allen wrench. Your ASAP lock is now ready to be used on a lifeline. These were just a few tips on how to assemble your ASAP and ASAP lock. For more information, visit Petzl.com to refer to the instructions for use and additional tech tips.